Earlier this week, we told you the story of Shawnee softball pitcher Alyssa Windau and how she's battling back from an arm injury. Well, today she proved there's nothing to worry about on the injury front. Windau threw a perfect game and hit a home run in Shawnee's victory over Coldwater, and she wasn't even sure her coaches would let her play today. Maybe there will be a masterful pitching performance or a home run or two on this week's top five plays of the week. Austin Scott counts them down. Last week, St. Henry closed out our countdown. This week, they opened it up with another great defensive play. This time, it's Jason Evers laying out for the catch in left field against New Bremen. More great defense at number four in an NWC showdown between Lincoln View and Allen East. Braden Newland lifts the fly ball into center field. Cole Schmerzel gets underneath it for the out, and he fires the first. Dustin Hale stretches out to help the Lancers double up the runner. Walpock's Megan Fisher in the circle at the three spot, but it's her glove getting her on the countdown. She snags the line drive off the bat of Morgan Wittick with ease to end the top half of the inning. Another great play from the circle gets runner up honors this week. Alexis Weyerman tries to lay down the bunt, but it's popped up. Michaela Ashball lays out for Lincoln View and makes the catch for the out. Fort Laramie softball brings the bats at number one this week as they travel to St. Henry. Holly Fry rips this pitch into right center field and it clears the fence for the two run homer. Next batter for the Lady Redskins is Julie May and she goes to straightaway center for a solo round tripper. These back-to-back -back homers help lead Fort Laramie to a 6-3 road win. Honorable mention this week goes out to Aaron Harlemer on this throwdown against Versailles. Check back next week to see if he can find a top five spot on the countdown. 